Koa. Koa. Come. You're going to have to just chill out, dude. Sit. He's all in a tizzy because... Hi, Koo. Thank you. Koo will come. He's like very confused about who's being called, so he's just going to make sure that I'm going to come no matter what. Hi, Koo. Oh, my God. Big old head. Oh, God. Say hi to the internet. Hi, internet. Anyway, I came home from the coffee shop, and I saw Koa, who is the stone-cold killer of the bunch, just sort of sitting on the patio with something between his paws. And I looked, I'm like, what the heck is that? Is that like a football? Is that like some sort of a, what is it, a toy? And I looked harder, and it was a turtle. It was a turtle, all tucked up into its shell, just right in, and Koa had clearly been gumming on it, not gumming on it, chewing on it. And Koa's been known to like crack right through an armadillo shell, all the product and crazy. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, poor turtle. So I put the dogs away and I, I swept the little turtle to safety. But then the turtle, sorry, good morning. <laughs> then the turtle crawled back onto the patio. I put him out in the grass, back onto the patio through this makeshift fence that we have to keep the dogs off of the yard and back into view of my dog Koa. So now he's going crazy. Everybody wants to get the turtle and I'm just giving the turtle some time. Turtle time. Come on, turtle. Make your way to freedom because this dog wants to kill you. Anyway, good morning, internet. How are you doing? I have a few things I want to talk to you about, not the least of which is things that you can do to set up your day for success, really to set up your day so that you can have a high vibration day and don't you forget, the higher the vibration, the closer we are to source energy. And the closer we are to source energy, what, what, what? Well, the more source energy and the attributes of source energy populate our life. So it's really important that we make a discipline out of living as high vibration as possible. So I'll talk to you about a couple of things that I do. But I want to start by, first of all, thanking my patrons, each and every one of you, for contributing to the work that I do and helping me to bring this message to the people and to shine my light. I consider you guys to be co-creators in the work. I tell you guys that all the time on Patreon. I'm sure you're getting sick of it, but I just wanted to let you know because I just put up a video. It's over an hour long. It's kind of an intensive teaching on the 11 keys to enlightenment. Those, uh, that's for patrons who contribute $5 or more. It's up, it's ready to go. In it, I also talk about those patrons who contribute at $20 a month or more. I'm going to start having private meetings with you guys. And I think we have maybe around seven or 10 of you contributing at that level. Thank you, by the way. That is so awesome. And it really does help everything that I'm doing. But I thought it would be super cool if we could just have private sessions and I can maybe do some teaching based on what you guys want to learn about. We can co-create and collab on that. I can also do intuitive readings, which I rarely do these days. So it would be my honor to serve you in a private group. We're going to do it on Zoom. So if you haven't checked out that new video that I put up on Patreon, please do because it has all the information and it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Turtle time. Awesome. The other thing I wanted to mention, and this is the only time I'm going to mention it because I'm already pretty much at capacity, but I have a program for spiritual practitioners, people who want to start their own spiritual business. This is coaches, guides, intuitive readers, psychics, mediums, inspirers, healers, Reiki practitioners, energy healers, whatever it is that you do in your light work, if you are ready to turn your talents and abilities into a service that you can offer more broadly or as a service that you can sell, then I am ready to help you. I am putting together a coaching group. We start in June. I was thinking maybe 10 people, right? 10 core people that I could take through month after month after month, helping these people to build their businesses as I built my own business. And I built a successful thriving business as an intuitive reader. And it took a while. Let me tell you something. I got a lot of things wrong and I had a lot of stuff that I had to push through psychologically about my own self-worth and what, like, what should I charge? And it's a whole story that I'm not going to get into, but through many years, I finally put together a system, a mechanism really through which I could be very, very successful as an intuitive reader. Now I don't do that anymore. I focus on teaching, but one of the things I want to teach is students how to do what it is that I do and how to succeed at their light work and not just scrape by. Do you know what I'm saying? Not just pay a bill here or there with the money they make from one session a month. No, I'm talking about staying booked and charging what you're worth and making a great living. It's 
also an affordable coaching group. When you think about the fact that when I stopped giving intuitive readings, I was charging $300 an hour and I was straight booked. I was booked, 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 booked. And I was raising my rates because I didn't want to do intuitive readings anymore. And so I thought, let me just keep raising these rates because then I'll start weeding some of these people out and I'll have less readings and I can focus more on teaching. But because of the systems that I had put in place and because of my own stuff that I worked on, the more I increased my rates, the more I was booked. So when you think about how much I was charging an hour and then you think about how much I'm charging for this coaching, which is only $50 a month, and we get four meetings a month with me live for at least an hour. I'm also going to give everybody video lessons at the beginning of the week. We're going to have a private student study group where entrepreneurs and business people can talk to each other, help and support one another. Just letting you know, this is a huge opportunity. As I said in the beginning, I was thinking, let me just get 10 people, 10 people that I can just help blast off with their business and start their business and be successful. Well, I started mentioning it here and there in a couple of the programs that I've been giving and 10 people turned into 20 people. And so when I finally opened sort of my doors softly, softly opening my doors to the program, um, we immediately got about 35 people. So I've been getting with my husband, not like that. I think that I've been getting with my husband and trying to figure out, and we have figured out some infrastructure things so that I can accommodate a bigger group of students. I think we're up to 35 people right now, which again is 25 more than I thought we were going to be coaching, but we have room for a few more, um, possibly up to about 50 people. We have the infrastructure so that I can make sure that I I've got hands on eyes on each and every one of these students. Again, $50 a month. However, And you can cancel at any time. And I encourage you to do that if you're not into it. But I don't, I'm not looking for people who are just going to sign up one month and then cancel, sign up two months later and then cancel or piecemeal the program together. This is really a program for people who are dedicated, who want to start or scale a successful spiritual business. If that's not you, if you don't know if I'm into it, I might be into it. I could check it out maybe. No, no, I've only got like three spots available. I really want motivated people. If you're interested, I want you to go to crystallinecompton.com. Don't forget the E, y'all. The E is vital in the URL. CrystalAnnCompton.com slash group hyphen coaching. Check it out. There's a link in there. You can check out my program. I've I've got the information as to what we're going to be covering for the rest of the year. If you're interested, don't delay YouTube. Sign up right now because I'm going to close the doors when we hit that number. Okay. (laughs) Enough about all that. It's been a few days since I've been on. I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things that I do every single morning to make sure that I set myself up for a beautiful day. It's important. Have you ever woken up and just felt like crap and there's no reason for it? There's, you just feel negative, you feel low vibration, you feel cynical, pessimistic, and it's a new day. Why are you feeling that way? Well, it's probably because of the quality of your sleep or some of the things that might have been happening in the astral or in your dream time that is making you feel like that upon waking. Well, as soon as you wake up and you feel yourself in a negative space or in a non-high vibrational space, you have to make sure that the first thing you do is prime yourself. It is really important, therefore, to have a couple of rituals that you do every single day consistently that grid you or make you a match for higher vibration, especially if you wake up on the proverbial wrong side of the bed. Now, one of the first things that I do when I wake up in the morning is I jam on an affirmation and I've got a couple, but some are really easy. The first thing I do, even if I'm like dragging my head's, my head's low because the sleep is so heavy on my head. The first thing I do though, is I say, this is the day that God has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, even if I'm not feeling it, even if I'm not there yet, because I've got the dregs of slumber still sticking to me. I say it. And if I don't feel it the first time I say it, well, I say it again. I'll say it louder. This is the day that God has made. I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to be glad in it. Now, this is also a scripture out of the Bible. Now, don't get all triggered and crazy about the Bible. I know there's a lot of stuff in the Bible that isn't in alignment with what we're talking about when we're talking about high vibration, but there are some scriptures that are extremely powerful and people have been saying them for millennia and imbuing them with such power and such veneration that when you say them now, they are literally activating fire words or power words. And so if you say these 
powerful words or these powerful statements, these powerful mantras, these powerful scriptures. You really are taking in the energy at the same time of all the people throughout all of history who have ever said the same mantra. And so that's the one I like to say. I also like to sing a little musical. I told you guys about this before a few months ago. This is a musical called Oklahoma with an exclamation point. And there's a song in Oklahoma that my mother sang all my life. I would wake up. She was trying to get us up for high school, wasn't into it, super begrudgingly getting out of bed. I could hear her in the kitchen singing this song and it was, oh, what a beautiful morning. And if you think about it, the affirmative statements, the affirmative words in this song are really, really beautiful. And I'll sing it for you. Of course, keeping in mind that I have the voice of an angel. (laughs) I don't. I'm feeling a little kooky today. Can you tell? It goes something like this. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Did you hear Ku moan? He's like, I've heard that every single day. For the last six years of my life, mommy, stop. No, he's groaning because he loves it. Because I sing it all the time. And not unlike saying a scripture more than once because it's a holy scripture and it's gridding me and it's making me a match. I will sing that throughout the house. I'll sing that as I'm brushing my teeth. I don't care. I'll sing that as I go outside to get things in order, let my dogs out, give them their food. I'm singing that song. My neighbors, now I've got them. Sorry, people. (laughs) My neighbors across the fence, they're hearing me sing it. But hey, I'm spreading the light. I'm not being a nuisance legally, but I'm spreading the light. And it just makes me feel better. Look, I'm smiling right now, just having sung that song and sharing it with you. Those words are beautiful. They're powerful. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Can you feel it? I can right at the top of my head. I've got a beautiful feeling that everything's going my way. Yes, powerful. Saying that as you walk around the house. The other thing that I do that is actually just a really little thing, but more people need to do it, is I simply make my bed. Actually, I straighten up my entire bedroom. Now, I'm living in a different house now. I was living, as you guys know, in the country, and I had this massive bedroom with like this massive bathroom with like, two walking I'm gonna start crying (laughs) it's a beautiful house but I had no internet and I had I was turning antisocial and getting crazy out there so it's better that I'm here but even in this house where we're kind of living in a spare room right now because it's all in flux and chaos I make sure in the morning I make that bed I fluff up those pillows I clear everything off the nightstand I wipe it down I make sure there's nothing on the dresser there's nothing on the floor that the dogs left behind because dogs get to sleep with mama they do. And I just make sure that when I return in the evening to go to sleep, you know, and of course it's during sleep that we are in that subconscious space of creation. That's where everything starts coming into the material world. If you haven't heard my teachings based on Neville Goddard's feeling is the secret, you should totally check it out. I have a three part series called the manifestation formula. You can go to the lightworkerslab.com slash free hyphen library. You can sign up. It's free. Hence the word free. And you can watch it, but he talks about the the interplay between the conscious, which is the thinking, the feeling, which is the vibration of it all, and the subconscious. And it's the subconscious that receives the transmission of the conscious thinking part of us and the feeling part of us, and then takes it as a directive and turns that into your reality. So as you're sleeping, you're creating what you're going to experience in the days and weeks and really even the years to come. So sleep is really, really important. And it's kind of a drag, right, to come home after a really long day, super busy, and you walk into your bedroom, your your sacred sanctum space, and it's all messy. There's clothes on the floor. Your husband's been through and his boxers are on the lampshade. Sorry, Jeremy. (laughs) It's kind of a drag when you walk into this space where you are literally going to create your life when you go to sleep and it's messy so the first thing that i do after i say my my affirmative statement 
and before I go around the house annoying everybody with my affirmative song, is I make my bed, I clean my room, I just make sure it's pleasant, it's as zen and lovely and supportive energetically as I want it to be for what it is that I'm going to be doing and experiencing. Those are just three things. How small are they? They're truly super small. Anybody can do them. And you don't have to use the same affirmative statements or mantras that I prefer. You can find your own. Like, what do you resonate with? In the morning, you only have a like window of opportunity. You can either buy into the negative energy of waking up on the wrong side of the bed or buy into not being conscious and intentional about what you want to do with your day, or you can buy into intelligently designing the following 12, 16, 18 hours and being conscious of the fact that you can create anything you want. Did you just hit your head, my sweet? Oh God, it's hard being a great day. It's hard. You can have any kind of day that you want. You can have any kind of life that you want. And it's in those first moments in the morning, in those first moments in your day, that you have that really magnetic and magical opportunity, how you doing, to set the tone for what's to come. So that's what works for me. I do it every single day. Sometimes I have to do it a lot because that wrong side of the bed, it's sticky, but I do it and it makes all the difference in the world. All right, guys, love you so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Now let me go outside and check on that turtle. Oh my gosh, did he make his way to freedom?